From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fey, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable faith of <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha de Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two as are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fey do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. Hi everyone, welcome to Kingdoms of Avalur, and this is definitely not the second time we're trying to record this. Nope, and he just happened to have those pictures because whatever. But they're not pictures, they're tarot cards. Oh man, this is- This is actually Persona 5. Oh my god, we're playing Persona 4.5, the, the prequel. What do you think this one is then? Alpha, Varan, could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Looks like one of the Dokhoff, our women. <laughs> Held up pretty good, too. All right, then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Put her with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Right, time for wakey wakey. Wakey wakey, corpse and bacon. I, lo I love how fucked up the animations are here. The way she reacts and she's gasping, it really is like she just returned from the dead or something. Yeah! They did a pretty good job showing like the, you know, the emotion and the, how it would feel to like rise from the dead. Like having no control over your body nearly. 
Yeah, definitely. Also, the shock of having to be around so many dead bodies. Yep. I'm surprised she hasn't yacked yet. She is constantly like... <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Blessings of Akatosh upon you. <laughs> oh, I thought we were wa we were watching this Let's Play and not quoting Oblivion quotes. Guess it was my imagination. Oh my god. <laughs> See you guys uh, in the next Let's Play. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> oh, I'm ruining everything. <laughs> Holy shit, we're out of here. Whoa. Experiment disposal. Secrecy is still important in our work. Requiring specialized disposal of our unfortunate failures. Piling remains have become a concern in the lower caverns, so an incinerator has been added to deal with the wastes. This should make disposal work slightly less horrible, although you should avoid drinking water from downstream of the ash dumps. Hardly a fitting rest for the poor things, but if it's any consolation, these weren't your original bodies in the first place. Ah yes, secrecy is still important in our work. Right. My boy, these secrecy is what all Let's Players strive for. God damn it, Matt. <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to get a king costume, like the one from the CDI <laughs> Zelda, and I'm going to do my <laughs> own live interpretation of the My Boy skit. <laughs> I can see it already. That would be great. But I need money. Money. We've got to have money. I'm sorry, no one can replace Tony J. Nope. <laughs> That fucking scream! <laughs> God damn! <laughs> oh my god! Combat's pretty fluent. Uh, nah. you'd think so, but it is actually kind of clunky. Oh, really? The only good thing is that you can nearly cancel all the animations into a, da uh, a dodge. Well, that's good. I thought you could cancel all of them, but I've learned with daggers it's a lot less easy than with a sword. The basic seems like sword is like the best thing to use oh, because it's so it. fast and fluid. Yeah. You, you gotta help Jim please. coming. Please. More mortals. <laughs> More mortals come. <laughs> Get a knife to the throat. So the music is actually by Grant Kirkhope. Oh, then you know it's gonna be good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Come along. I've seen you before. On the slab. You. You were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive. No, no, clearly not. Not anymore. But you were. The Well of Souls remade your body. We thought you were another failure. What? Well, restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Oh my, you don't know? Oh, perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deon, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him! Oh, no doubt. But we must get to Hughes. He'll be in his study on the ground floor. The 
Duatha are coming in through the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now let's get going. Oh my, you don't know? We've never seen them this far inland. Not in I wish I could tell you more. You showed no signs of life when we removed your new body from the well's waters. We just put it in the furnace room with the others. We would have never done that if we knew. The Well of Souls is just ahead. You'll see. And... and... it works. It restored you to life. There will be plenty of time to explain later. We've got to get going. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Let me get this door. And we can be on our way. You see, their problem is, is that they just can't talk to Rachel Ghoul to get the fucking right, Lazarus right. pet blueprints. You go first. What? Uh, reference right over my DC, head. DC, Batman. Oh, Basically, okay. Rachel Ghoul has a la thing called a Lazarus pet. Every time he dies, they throw him in there and he comes back. Oh, okay. Joke is ruined! <laughs> no problem. That's to be a service. Now, if you excuse me, I'm just gonna stare at that elf ass until we get somewhere else. An end to death. Oh shit, we have to wake up Illidan. We got to get the fuck out of here, man! <laughs> She's gonna blow! <laughs> They're just setting that up for Nighthold Citadel to fight Gul'dan. Yeah. I notice uh, most of the games I like have like the similar kind of uh, death contraption. Mm. Uh, what what the fuck is it called? Titan Quest has the same kind of well of souls as well. Oh. But it is based on Greek mythology, so yeah. Fair enough. If you can find anything useful. I don't use shields too often. I guess they're kind of good, but I... I mean, off offense is the best defense. But, um, you can choose any class and you can use any weapon? Wait. Yeah. Oh, that's... Did I hate those kind of limitations, like, you're a mage, you can only use a staff. <laughs> No, there's actually a lot of shit you can do, but... Shit, even when I play Pathfinder or Dungeons & Dragons, I always try to at least get a broadsword. The thing is, though, uh, there's some bonuses you can unlock later in the game. The thing is, though, as soon as you put a skill point in another tree, it becomes harder to unlock that bonus. Oh. Because you need like all the points you can unlock until that level to put that in there. So you'll, if you go for the tree later, you'll be a level later to get all the bonuses, and they're really fucking insane. Like we're talking plus three hundred percent crit damage and shit. Shit, man. Yeah, it's it's insane, but it is high level. So you got two different weapons you can change with the press of the A button, and you can. You can choose whatever the fuck you want for combos. You can have a bow and a staff, or two bows. Nobody cares. You can do whatever you like. Oh, that's good. <laughs> but there is limited use to the bow. <coughs> if you look under the mana bar right on the top, you can see how many arrows you have. But it does recharge. <coughs> but you have to charge your old. Oh my god. You go walk and take your kuro! That was actually pretty Thank good. Thank you. I guess after hear after hearing it like five thousand times by now, you actually know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Uh, well, it's just basic human instinct. My favorite part is when you play the German dub of the <laughs> of Overwatch, and it sounds totally ass. Like Ryuga Wagacheki wo Ryuyo Wagacheki wo Oh my god. And Genji is even way worse. <laughs> it's kind of like.
<laughs> Good job. We've instantly lost everyone from Germany. <laughs> I think that's most of my viewer base as well. Well, I ruined everything. Good fucking job, Matt. This is why I have you here. Leave it to American to fuck up an entire nation. Well, I've never done that before, right? Huh? Oh, that's fucking bullshit. Oh! Okay, so... <laughs> I just oh. love that. Oh, well, I guess yeah. it's my imagination. <laughs> Have you heard of the high elves? <laughs> <laughs> nice audio filter. What are you, from like the what, 80s? Yeah, I know, right? If we give ourselves an audio filter, we sound better than evil. Uh. Why is everything evil green lately? <laughs> like, even in mm -hmm. um Dragon Age Inquisition, all the demon power is green. Yeah, you're right, actually. The, the box starts with... Not just that, the crystals that help make create demon portals is green, and the way you seal it is with a green magic that comes out of your hand. I guess it's fell like Yeah, even- Warcraft. yeah, Warcraft, fell magic, green! Not that I mind. I mean, green I is mean, a cool color. Warcraft- Warcraft 2 had, like, fell magic, though, and that was 95. Yeah, but- and that Yeah, was but green. still, like, the majority of, like, nowadays, like, evil is green, I guess. Regarding the spiders, Hughes, per your request, we finally got the spider problem under control. Claude will try to take credit for an efficient cleansing with his Praetorians, but I feel he overstates his case and fails to recognize the value that my own quick thinking and scholarly work provided to the successful operation. While overseeing the spider purge, I noticed that those guards who were affected by spider venom exhibited stiffness of joints and tightening of skin symptoms, which suggests a possible solution for the internal cohesion problems of some of the well's creations. I would have studied these symptoms in more depth at the time, but the guards willfully and flagrantly disobeyed my orders to delay application of antitoxins. As such, I request that we capture some of these spiders in order to harvest their venom and for future testing. Furthermore, I trust that these insubordinate guards will be punished immediately. For my steadfast pursuit of knowledge, I require no medal nor promotion. All I would ask is that you please reassign me off of subject disposal detail. Grant. I mean, well, Razor, I get, Razor is I a shitty brand for PC uh, stuff, so they're evil. <laughs> <laughs> and they're green. God damn it. There we go. Instantly cancelled my sponsorship by Razor. I'm doing great. Great, now they won't hire me. <laughs> Watch power! Yes, you're able to shoot lightning at a spinny thing. What power? I actually thought it would unlock something if I did multiple times, but it turns out that it feels later bad. you're gonna later you're gonna find out that the main villain is so powerful that he can move two spinny things. Oh my god, Matt, stop with the spoilers, goddamn. Godlike power, dude. You can spin things. Look. Whoa. It's like a it's like a fidget spinner. Whoa <laughs> magic. Whoa! <laughs> I know Kung Fu. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck off. I just saw the spider. Fuck off. Yep, love it. Uh, I fucking hate spiders. Now, this is a blind true, blind, is it? A blind playthrough for me, but also for Matt. Mm hmm. So I'm only going to be ahead as much as I've recorded since this is not a live uh, recording. I agree, Jim Cummings. Burn them all. Burn them. Burn them all. But yeah, Skyrim is unforgivable for, forgivable for their friggin' frostbite spiders. 
Oh my god, this is the ice, man. It's exactly like the like the Stormcloak guy says. It's the ice. God damn. He has commentary about it if you take the 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 yeah. Stormcloak playthrough. I never did like them spiders. Too many eyes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. There's a bear there. See her? I fucking hate the the Empire. Yeah. Why the fuck would you take the Empire, man? Because Gordon is a dick. But he has no dick. He's a fucking skeleton. But he is one. So let's just How ask the most important question. Why was the intro song of Skyrim not Spooky Scary Skeleton? Hmm. For your playthrough? That is a good question. The answer is yes. You are dead. 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 <laughs> Thought you were hot. Guess, Guess what? what? You're, you're not. not. <laughs> you're hot. stopped and your brain is cold. You are so hot. Dead. dead. <laughs> All right, let's stop this shit. Get away. I lose this. You get, I just That's love it I when did, games have very I creative game she overs. She came out of the well. What? She better get inside to see the old man. Push. Or does Twatha make another push? This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. I suppose these might be able to help. If the Tawatha realize what you are, you'll need them. directly ahead in his study just keep going past the top of the well he needs to see you right now you're the most valuable thing in his world I'll see you on the outside if fate wills it a lot of good norms day today oh, I'm surprised they're not dwarves the well yeah brought you back, huh? they're gnomes. The rest of us I thought they would be dwarves but no they're gnomes, no, they're gnomes. Ah, later and for once, people don't hate gnomes, apparently. <laughs> oh, yeah, they hate gnomes. Don't worry about it. Everybody's a racist it's, to gnomes. No, it's the other way around. The gnomes he, hate us, you hate everything well else. Uh -huh. I guess it could have been worse. You're what the well spat out. I guess it could have been worse. Leather armor is thin, but we'll give you the speed Why wasn't that to reach an sprout. I don't know. Cloth frees your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it. Now, obviously, this is going Go to be fashion Hughes. soul, so I'm yeah, not going to be wearing a helm. Go see Hughes. Of course. Which time? There's no option to disable helms. Feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> At least I think so. I might actually have to check the gameplay uh, op options. Who knows? But shit, this is making me want to get back, get back to Inquisition and actually do a let's play of Dragon Age Inquisition. I would definitely watch it because I have no fucking cell in my body that wants to play that game right now. Ever. Well progress log. Experiments are now successfully recreating bodies 97.5% of the time. Any missing limbs or extra fingers are now probably how the original subject looked rather than a magical flux on our end. However, full revivification still eludes us. Even with increased testing, products are nothing more than inert lumps of skin and bone. Although the occasional spasm or twitch does allow hope of full success in the future. I know some of you complain that we should use cadavers and skip the corpse recreation altogether. But you must know we'd never be allowed to experiment with the subject's actual body. We may be working to recreate life, but that hardly allows us to desecrate the dead. Any further complaints can be brought to me directly. Fumorous Hughes. And I'll probably just do it as a Kunari mage because they allow you to finally play as the Kunari. I don't even fucking remember who that is. They're like the bull people. A lot of the first game. Well, it's Sten. Or Sven. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a Kunari, but they later changed the Kunari that they're like these bull people. But there are a, like, male, like a tannish skin, giant eyes, human form people of the Kunari. Hmm. Fucking love this guy. That 
that Star Wars music do? Oh shit, it does sound like Star Wars. You've made it, and look at you. Even with all you've been through. The Tuatha, your return from the dead. Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing. The Well of Souls. The pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. I wish I could tell you more, but your death is a mystery to me as well. It seems that your memory died with your body. You see, the well is designed to capture the soul of someone recently deceased, recreating their physical form within its waters. Simple, really. Your rebirth is the first we might truly call a success. There have been others, but the results weren't quite right. The Fae are complicated. I could write ten volumes on the effects of immortality on a pseudo-feudal court system alone. I am Fomorous Hughes, scholar of Vivification Prime Circle. We are standing above my life's work, the Well of Souls. And there's so much to learn about you, though. I, I imagine it's all a bit muddled. A side effect of the prismia? The shape of the basin? No, no. If only we had more time. You don't know. They're called the Tawatha. They were once fey folk of the Winter Court, but they've been twisted by their Lord Gadflow. But how could they have found us out here? We're miles away from the front lines. The war has never touched Dalantarth. And why attack the well? Too much to explain right now. The Tawatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well. But I can ensure that its only success is safe. Of course you do. Please, though, we must hurry. Wait, where are you going? No time for pleasantries. We've got to get you to safety. Good, good. We can't waste time. We're in the Feylands, miles away from the front lines. I thought we were safe enough from the war, but it seems some of the Tuatha found their way here anyway. Absolutely not. I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... you're... Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... <coughs> Perhaps I should go see. Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The Tawatha have reached the lab! That inside the... Oh. Ah. No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of Gorhart. Find Agath. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! <laughs> go, go, go! Run, run, you fool! Run, you fool! <laughs> Gandalf! I mean Hughes! <laughs> Happy souls. Gandalf! Ocarina of Time effect here. We need to go up the <laughs> stairs instead of down the stairs. <laughs> Whoops! Nice backstab, bro. Thanks. Well, we got him. This ends now, Dostling! Not as cool as Ashen one, but... That was a pretty sick stab, actually. Oh, from the previous recording, Flocker yelled at me saying that you need to pick up all the lockpicks you can. Oh, uh, that's, that's right. You see Find it? them all. 
You see a merchant who's selling them, you just buy all, buy all of them. Tear this tower apart! But why? Why, old man? I like the design of the troll. Oh, and they brought a rock troll. <laughs> so you might have noticed we're not getting too much XP from any kills, like 12 XP, that's Jack all. <laughs> Although, the game does introduce some really annoying mechanics, like a quick time event, and because those are fun. The problem with the quick time event is that it actually impacts about how much XP you get for a kill on a boss or last enemy. And I think that's a really bad design decision. But at least it makes for, for some cool enders. Kind of getting a mixy God of Warish vibe. Yeah. Uh, here we can see the quick time event. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there's a, that's a lot of XP. That's like 100% extra. Yeah. That's double. Hold the devil's pot of tea. Alright, let's get the fuck out of this. We got the squire's ring. The precious. <laughs> we went through much suffering to get this fuck old Frank Popper! <laughs> We hate you! We hate all of you! MTV sucks! Good day. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> let's just act like that, that never that happened. That was from the... Uh, <laughs> so anyways, I, I... I took some skills here and I decided during the recordings that we're going to change it. So you're going to notice that next episode we're going to be back to this screen and we're going to be taking some other moves instead. And instead I put every point I had into uh, the thing I have one point in now. Because he likes the, to think uh, of that, you see. You know, the, the precise weaponry because it unlocks more moves. And more moves Yay! more interesting gameplay. <laughs> yeah. So before you're, we're done here, you might have thought, like, why the fuck can't you make your own character, like, design it? Well, you can, actually. Uh, I just skipped it to keep the cutscene a bit more, you know, fluid. And uh, we actually took the Dokofar because we're going to be playing a rogue. And the Dokofar have a racial bonus to persuasion and uh, stealth. So that's pretty good. And we also have Sagecraft, which is uh, making gems for socket items. And we're gonna take mischief because we're gonna be using poison weapons as much That's as possible. That's always a good choice. Yeah. I do not know how good poison is, but I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty insane. Like, uh, later well, we get if poison's some anything like Dark Souls 1 or 2, then they're pretty much fucked. Dark Souls 3, not so yeah, much. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Because one of the moves, one of the moves we unlocked actually, uh, is teleporting through enemies, and you can pretty much engage five enemies at once and poison them in less than a second Jeez. by teleporting through all of them. It's it, yeah, it's insane, and it looks really, really cool. Character creation is all right. So. Yeah, it's, it, it's I despise the fact that I can't play as a gnome. I demand cool. to play as a gnome. Get on that EA DLC. Yeah, that's a DLC to a last gen console yeah, game. That's oh yeah, actually. Actually, I checked and I actually have <laughs> all the DLC, so I did not know that. <laughs> Apparently, oh. because I got the Steam version of the game, in which you, you need still to need to log to the White into Masters. EA servers. Thank you, EA. We love you. Yes. I can't wait to see that. Um. 
I I am too. I'm excited. I'm for looking this forward game. I'm to excited it. Excited for this playthrough. It's a more actiony version of Dragon Age, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, you're uh, totally it's like, right. Actually, like this game you is know, like let's take Dark Souls. Well, let, I said, let's take I mean, Dragon Age two, but actually make it good. Let's make Pretty it brightly yeah, colored. Let's make the characters good, uh, look better than they would be at. on that generation. And let's actually throw away all the emo elves. Yeah, but at least one of them's not your party <laughs> member. There's still they? some emo elves. We'll be meeting them. Well, then this game's better. <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> so we had to go with a tattoo, right? I mean, gotta be. Of course, edgy. you're a rogue. You have to have a tattoo. Exactly. You gotta get your Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds tattoo. Alright, fuck off. <laughs>